Hey guys, welcome back to Good Girl Gone Fab TV or .com, wherever you're watching this. Um, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to this new video. It is a spring pink, very, very, very pink glitter eyeshadow look. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I had a little bit of struggle and a lot of bit of, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, as you can see, it's not perfect. I have glitter um, where it's not supposed to be above my crease area but overall this is a very pretty look um i use the anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance palette and i also use this sky glitz um skylar glitz this is my friend um glitter cosmetics line um i did features this on my blog at girlgonfab.com and i did a black smoky eye look um so i wanted to use some more product some more of her glitters and products and try it out using pink because I literally love pink. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and tell your friends about it. Um, if you like this look, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And follow me on Instagram at the good girl gone fab. Yeah, so um, stay tuned and keep watching. So I'm going to be filming a talk through. I'm pretty sure this is my first one, so I'm pretty nervous use the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion um, I already moisturized my face I'm just gonna prime my eyelids you can prime you can prime your eyelids with concealer really um, I just use this because I'm extra and I bought it I do like it it does definitely help my eyeshadow last and not crease um, or fade but it's also kind of expensive of course because it's from Urban Decay so it's not cheap even though I did get on sale for like eight bucks I don't know the original price it's more like almost 20 it's this Laura Mercier um, translucent setting powder and I'm just gonna take um a blending brush this is the morphe 504 brush I'm just gonna like lightly tap it in here like hardly and just kind of set that Carly Bible BH cosmetics palette oh and with my morphe 330 brush this is one of my favorite morphe brushes ever and it's a just a nice blending brush um, perfect for using like a transition shade and blending out shadows I'm gonna take this shade right here which is like a taupey kind of more almost mauvey color but not really and I'm just going to um, I'm gonna just put this in like the crease area a little bit above the crease area this is going to be kind of a transition shade and a transition shade is a shade you kind of start off with to help blend all the shadows together. It's usually pretty close to your skin tone or the colors you're going to be using because it's kind of just like the first shade. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. It's where kind of like your lid and the upper eyelid meet. I'm sorry that this is wrinkly. I'm kind of doing this like last minute on a Sunday. I've been trying to record all day, but I've been doing random stuff throughout the day. Lightly going with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, which is also pink and pretty dirty. And I am going to go in with the Cypress Umber shade. I'm probably saying that wrong. It's this brown shade. And I'm lightly like going to go in the same brush and like just like tap like lightly and get the excess off because I don't want it to be brown I just want to kind of deepen it up a little bit and not make it as light you don't have to do this shade if you find like a transition color you actually like I wasn't feeling that Carly Bible shade but I do kind of like the palette a little bit 
back in with my modern modern renaissance palette and I'm gonna take the shade love letter and I think I'm gonna mix it with the Buon fresco color kind of mix those two together and we're gonna put that in the crease area so tap off the excess and you're gonna start in the crease area. But don't try not to get it on the lid. Stay in the crease and above. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. I'm going in with this Morphe M139 brush. 139 brush. So you see a little bit of pink is starting to show through. Now you can go in with that love letter, just the love letter itself, and kind of deepen that up. And I'm making sure not to go all the way in. Um, I don't want it to be dark right there, so I'm just like starting um, a little bit past half. Going outwards like this. Ooh. And I'm going to do this on the other eye. I'm probably going to cut this part out or speed it up even faster than I just did. Because you don't really need that. Alright. So then we're going to go in with that Morphe 330 brush that we use for the transition. And we're going to um, just go over this and try to blend it out more. It's going to make it a little bit softer. You don't put anything on it. You can just use it how it was. And I kind of made like this part darker and it kind of like fades up into a lighter pink, if you can see. But you just do that by heavily applying the pink right here and then kind of just blending it out up there. The Buon Fresco light pink shade. And I'm gonna go on the inner and kind of drag it out into the love letter. Tap it off because this palette does have fallout fall out. and kind of just lightly blend it out. You want to kind of mix the two colors together. Um, this is where we're going to cut the crease. Um, since I, I am going to be using glitter. I'm gonna lightly, lightly cut the crease. And I don't wanna use this, but this is really good. <laughs> I don't wanna use it because this is what I use to cover my under eyes, not because it's bad. Um, This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the color Amande, medium dark three. And I'm going to use this Masika E22 Concealer Brush. As you can tell, I use this a lot. I use it to carve out my eyebrows sometimes. Um, and I particularly use it for my under eye to just apply the concealer. So I'm going to just tap this in there lightly and then like wipe off the excess. And to cut your crease, you want to take this concealer and you, you want to take this concealer and you want to go where your eyes kind of close. And you want to drag it. a line you can start off lightly that's why I said wipe off the excess because you don't want to apply too much and have it get it where you don't where you're not trying to cut it and it, it's easier for me if I just start like on the lid and just place it all over the lid because you know the lid is not gonna have any um, of this pink shade in there and then drag it across really slowly I'm talking quietly because I'm trying to focus but you drag it across really slowly because you kind of do want this part to be perfect 
So, um, you made your lid, or you put that over your lid. Make sure there's completely two different colors. You see the difference? Like, this is light brown, this is pink, but you can clearly see the difference and clearly see where it stops. All right. Easy peasy, kinda. Not really. It takes a lot of practice. I'm still not great at it. But we're gonna make this work. We're gonna make this work. So then we're gonna take our Too Faced Glitter Glue Primer. So the glitter glue is your full coverage insurance policy um, against glitter fallout. Lock down glitter, shimmer, or metallic shadows and enhance their reflective quality. Tap a small amount. So I'm just gonna squeeze out a little bit. Whee. Onto bare lids for glitter lockdown. Sp sp sparkle fallout is history. Tip glitter glue can also be used on top of shadow to secure to, sec to secure glitter onto a finished look. So like once you put the glitter on, you can kind of put this on top. But we're gonna apply. Tap it on. I'm just gonna tap it onto where you put that concealer. We're taking this Sky Glitz Glitter in pink and we're gonna apply it to the lid. I'm gonna take this Morphe R242 brush. This is like a shadow brush. I don't know if you're supposed to use it for glitter, but this is what I have that I can find right now. Into the wipe away this glitter off my face and then get on to the next part of the video okay I'm back cleaned and wet my beauty blender I'm gonna take this Kat Von D lock your foundation and I am the color 74 deep but when you wear this Kat Von D foundation you are popping so then I'm taking this NARS concealer, the soft matte one that I was talking about earlier, using that brush I was telling you about earlier. I'm going to Wee. So anyways, I'm gonna keep blending it out. Set your under eye because then it'll be easier to wipe away any fallout and glitter. I know as soon as my boyfriend comes out, he's going to be like, still not done yet? And I'm going to have to tell him that I messed up. And I got to start, I have to start over because I know he misses me. Alright, probably put too much. We're gonna keep going. 
I'm gonna use take my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette and lightly contour my face. I don't really like contouring. I like the shape of my face, even though it is a little bit more plump than it used to be. I'm gonna take this Mario Badesco spray. This is gonna like melt all the powder, all the products together. All right, so then, what do I do next? I'm trying to, I'm like, oh, lashes. I'm trying to get it to focus. These lashes were, I believe, $3.99 at Ulta. Okay, guys, so I put on my lashes. I put on my lashes, and um, I put on bottom lash mascara, and I put on top lash mascara. So, I think we're going to move on to one of the final steps, and we're going to use this new Tarte highlighter that I got. It is called Sparkler. It is one of their Amazonian clay highlighters. I got this from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Can you see that? It's like a rose gold highlight. Right on my nose down. And right there on the top of my nose. And then I'm going to apply it to my cheekbone. We're all lip liner by Mac. And this is like a mauve, a mauve pink color. Then I'm gonna take this prune lip liner by NYX. Okay. I'm gonna deepen it. Pink lip gloss by NYX called Cream Brulee. just apply it all over my lips <laughs> gonna use my urban decay D slick setting spray gonna let that set and then we'll be back to show you the finished look mm -hmm. 